Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates and I'm your host Omi and we can see market has been dipping and we can also see it's in strong pullback and correction mode right now. Today in the news, we're gonna see what are the reasons for that. So now let's see what's happening in our news. Welcome to the news chapter and let's see what's happening in our news. So the first news for us today is that's been sub depressing everybody. Kiar ye bull run chal raha hai or have we turned bearish? We're gonna find out now. The bull market distribution has begun. Five things to watch in Bitcoin this week. Very important for us. If you look at the on-chain data where we can clearly see that we can have a massive pull or a bull run still going on and we can still get those 93 98k closing for November. If you look at here it says that data on chain analytics firm Glassnode highlighted by analyst Will Clemente shows that long term holder investors have stopped net accumulating and are now uh, divesting themselves of coins. Characteristics of bull run tops this selling into strength marks the first net reduction in long term high holdings since April when BTC USD hits high of 64,900 which stayed as the ceiling for 6 months. Long term holders buy BTC into weakness and sell into strength Clemente commented we've just gotten our first red prints on LTH net profit position change in over 6 months showing bull market distribution has begun. So this is a very very bullish news for us and maybe maybe perhaps this is the historical data that showed us that we're going to be having a 25 to 30 percent pullback could be the reason that we are possibly now looking for a reversal anytime soon and we're going to see that more in detail in the charts as well and i'll explain you why i think that because it's always good to have a proof or at least something when you place an argument <laughs> Next news, big one, it's coming out from India. We can see India to ban crypto as payment methods but regulate as an asset. The Modi government will also ban active solicitation from crypto firms such as ads. Hmm, this is a very interesting one. Uh, if I look at it as technically, it, was, it, it is the right move to do right now. India just had their currency note change a few years ago where they, they controlled having people having different different corrupt notes and they changed all the notes in their country and now they're having something similar where they have to adopt bitcoin into payment methods that will bring more corruption and more problems into the economy if it's done without regulation and without organized systems it's, it's clearly in our history in pakistan and in india we have to make things very organized uh, very proof of work you know where there is no corruption penetrable in that mechanism that you're building for payment methods otherwise our people are so smart in finding out loopholes that they're gonna just find out something and make the whole thing that people want to use it for a good thing they're gonna turn it all into a bad thing within a couple of hours because they really have some kind of brain jahan jugar nikalna is lazmi you know without jugar pakistani indians just don't go forward and that's the reason our whole subcontinent region can't compete with the west we can't even compete with southeast asia anymore we keep fighting between ourselves and we don't progress if we look at here it's a, it's an okay situation i wouldn't say it's a it's a 50 50 here at least they didn't ban cryptocurrency as an asset as well so there's something you can start building crypto and keep it as an asset and they're not allowing you to use it as a payment method so you can keep it as it as an asset obviously if you have property hoti hai, ghar hoti hai, you don't give your ghar as a payment to anybody right you keep it as an asset it's your asset you bought the house you keep the paperwork and the house with you until or unless you want to sell it so they're going to be implementing i think something similar to it uh, probably something similar to property or something similar to vehicle or something similar to positional tax where somebody owns a position in something and they're going to be taxed on it and it's going to be declared as an asset it's still something better than banning the whole system completely i always look for places where we're moving forward in adoption and not where because nothing in the world works the way we want it to work people adopt it the way they want to adopt and that's how the world keeps moving forward the faster you understand that the better it is uh, <laughs> 
another massive news this is probably the best one and i'm extremely excited about this sandbox metaverse alpha launches november 29 after four years in development sand prices have surged to an all new time high as the sandbox announces its highly anticipated play to earn metaverse event so this event is going to be the kickstarter that's going to start the metaverse sandbox and really really excited to see how it's going to look everybody's looking forward to november 29th if i do i hope i do if i do get an invite because i'm already a pre-registered uh, member in uh, sandbox then i'm definitely going to be doing a live stream for it and we're going to see how that event goes another big news we have from yesterday is WANEC bitcoin strategy etf launch day volume fraction of bitos lower volume compared to pro shares were expected but one act hopes it lower fees can give it an edge over competitors uh, i saw them they opened it yesterday and it's doing pretty all well we can have a look at it as well in our charts um, usually they were longing at the mo at the time they started the etf it was a green candle i hope they were long they were in long positions at the moment but probably they could be the reason as well that probably later in the evening we started feeling shorts and market became quite bearish from 60,000 we straight away went to 59,000 and we're now trying to consolidate there but if we don't we're gonna fall lower to 57. So that's all for our news for today guys. Now we're gonna see what's happening in our charts and technicals. Welcome to technicals guys and let's see our crypto greed and fear index. Are people greedy right now or they're fearful as the market dumps? Let's check it out. So we are at 52 straight from 71 we straight down to neutral levels which is a great sign and we can expect the market even turning more fair you never know because we're right in the middle anything is possible from these places literally anything just yesterday i told you guys it's possible we can pump towards 80s or we can even go down and today we are down so anything is possible in these markets i hope people are taking profits and they have made their capital out from their bags and now all they have in the bags is profit and they can hold on to it they don't have to rush and they don't have to panic sell when you have your capital stuck 90% of the time you're going to panic sell and you're going to be selling it in a loss and then you're going to try to grab another coin by the time you buy that coin your own coin will start pumping and that always happens and the cycle keeps repeating so that's why they say be patient coin market cap me dekhte hain what is happening here and which were the coins that we can say are pumping and doing well it's good to see ki aaj iska layout is working fine so Bitcoin's dominance at 43.5, Ethereum's dominance at 19.1 has come down massively from 20 levels. That's the reason we're seeing Ethereum coming down and not having much support either. The global crypto market cap is 2.6 trillion and it's a decrease of 2.48 over the last day. Massive decrease. We've been rejected from 3 trillion and after that we've not even come close to 3 trillion or to even retest. Bitcoin dominance is currently 43.47, an increase of 0.32 over the last day. Keeps increasing, keeps spiking here and there, and then settles down for a while. Uh, it's making all bleed at the same time. Overall, obviously, we know the market is going to be red, so we'll quickly just see which were the coins that are still gaining in this market. So we still have winners of the sandbox. We know the reason the sandbox is pumping. We've hardly got 12 days before their first alpha event starts. Bora Bora is up about 26%. Wax is an NFT based coin is up about 11%. IOTA Myota is up 10%. Decentraland Mana is up 7%. The only project that has sustained very very well from uh, layer 1s is a AVAX. AVAX has still been trading about 98. Even DGENs and AVAX are pumping like mad. Uh, great great scene. 9.2% appreciation. Crypto.com I've heard are renaming uh, I think uh, NBA or some arena very soon is going to be called Crypto.com Arena and they're up about 9%. Curve DAO is up about 6%. Inchwine is up about 4.3%. IOTEX is about 5%. XC Infinity is also pumping here and there. It started about 131. It's already now at 137. I think it's, it's time for XC Infinity to make another high. If we look at the ones that haven't done much is Qcoin. Uma Uma was pumping yesterday, so we can expect some pullback today. Zcash is up, uh, Icon is up, Dash is down. Nair Protocol is down, Tez is down, VeChain down, Litecoin down, Terra Luna down, uh, Thorchain massively down. Even I'm stuck in Thorchain. I really don't know what to do, but I'm obviously gonna hold. There's nothing much you can do in this. So, up to the charts mein, and let's see what is happening here. So, if we look at total, ko dekhen, the total is about 2.58. We're still struggling. We had a massive, massive rejection. And after that rejection, we have come nowhere close. We got rejected from here about 
still face the heat and dump so we dump all the way here now we are about trading at 2.581 t uh the money keeps coming out of the markets and we can see that clearly because usdt sees dominance and usdt dominance is crazily up it has also broken its downtrend it used to be in a very very strong downtrend here we go we have broken that downtrend and it's out of it now that suggested us that massive profits and panic selling is going on right now in the markets agar bitcoin ki dominance ko dekhe to bitcoin's dominance has just been sideways in these regions for far too long now and we have this uh spikes here and there and then then it turns back down to a wick look at this one this one is like just a wick and literally just a small body there and similar situations here but still we have a bigger body this one is just absolutely crazy this one just spike made the market dump and then sideways this one just spike make the market dump then sideways we keep seeing the similar channel and the new thing i'm seeing is slowly 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 it's in an uptrend now and it's probably going higher it would be nicer for it to consolidate in this zone so we could have ethereum and all coins pump but it decided to work against that others ki dominance ko dekhen we have a similar situation in others dominance as well we had a massive dump we were in a very strong uptrend we had this resistance we tried to consolidate above that after getting rejected initially we went up tried but we failed and now we've gone back to our 15 levels and we've also broken the trend that we we had been following from i think 20th october so right now in short phases everything the market looks very very bullish uh, sorry very very bearish let's look at btc the only hope i have with btc right now is this falling channel usually mostly if we look at the falling channel here we go one here we go another one every time we see we are in a falling channel 90% to 80% of the times they break upwards and they make good movements every time we made an all time high we kind of broke out from a falling channel and we are in a similar situation now uh it looks pretty neat i can expect having a nice breakout from here but it's very risky right now cuz the channel haven't completed and we are slowly slowly if you look at it we went up try to gain support got rejected again this pump right now looks very very good this is giving us very good momentum as well hopefully hopefully we can break forward the first thing for us to break is and regain this support then this support and obviously slowly slowly keep going upwards while we gather back our resistance from these support, previous supports and resistance ethereum may also we have a exact similar scenario going on right now we are in a strong channel and the same thing we are experiencing even in ethereum that we can have at any moment we can burst out from this channel and that could bring us into a massive breakout and maybe we have to test again these zones from previous history and our previous data there we go this is the zone we are in right now we can see the similar pattern we repeating here and this was a massive liquidation week for bears and bulls but obviously bulls got more liquidated and i also wanted to share with you guys something i have made all right this is the one week chart these are the basic scenarios we are at even in ethereum and even in btc so if if we look at the scenarios right now we're going in nice uptrend we had nice pullback before also we can have a similar pullback here the first zone for it is always to make and maintain 4112 obviously because we've already dumped till there now we're taking support there but if we fail to take support here this will be the next level 3700 that will just bring us testing the trend and if unfortunately we come here with a big week like this that would be like literally on the line of making breaking a weekly trend on ethereum and similar situation we also have for btc that's the situation for btc we have right now if we look into this situation we can clearly see we have two scenarios drawn right now we had a similar pullback like this in the weekly chart and now we're experiencing a similar pullback for btc it for it to come back and test trend like it has done in the past it has to come to 51 and 55 uh if we do break out from here back again it would be a very nice sign we again have our targets up at 75 80000 but generally i'm really watching this level right now if we break this support and in in if in ethereum we break this support then we're turning bearish for some short time and we have to be very careful with the trades we are taking at that time that's not there's no, um, nothing much happening in the market otherwise we can look at xc xc is also having a nice correction when it comes to week if you look at it in one hour we can see it's in a nice trend it went down all the way to 121 and then it's been pumping and trying to make supports and resistance cuz it has a very uh, macro and micro uh, supports and resistance throughout its chart 
overall we look at the market the markets not nothing much is happening in the markets most coins are sideways so um, nothing significant discussing the TA about them we can have a look at what's pumping for example why I keep saying degens are great this is a degen AVAX launcher still up still pumping Inge is doing well CRV is up another degen sandbox Zill uh, earn Ethernity token is pumping uh, mana is up if you look at sandbox sandbox from yesterday sandbox kind of uh, broke its previous all-time high now it has to make support somewhere here for it to keep continuing i think it will keep pumping about the 25th november 26th november right before the event is about to come i think a lot of people are going to sell off that always happens in these markets so we're going to see what is the possibilities for us for today so we're going to go in our massive weekly chart and from there we can draw ourselves a scenario that these two scenarios are possible for us per day so if we look at this chart for us now we're looking at it in a day we're still maintaining supports here in day if we do break down we can come here if we do break up from here we have to break the previous resistance that we're facing right now of 6344 and that will bring us into a strong strong bullish up cycle and an uptrend very soon so that's all for today's video guys i really really hope you love the analysis if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section if you're stuck in any trade you need any helps or you want to promote your project you can reach out to me on twitter and instagram the links are given in the description below and that's all for guys take care bye bye